Prime Time. Today we're going to be talking about the top qualities I believe most insurance agents possess uh, top producing insurance agents. We're talking about agents who are producing at levels of at least eight to ten thousand dollars a week. I believe most, the overwhelming majority of those agents have these eight things in, in common and we're going to go through them. Now, I believe the, the first and probably the most important, especially as you're getting started, I think a lot of people lack vision, lack uh, real understanding of what their goals are, and a lot of people end up setting really, really small goals. I think the biggest thing that most top producers are doing is they're setting their goals really, really big. They set huge, gigantic goals, goals that maybe they've never seen anybody else accomplish, not sure if they're going to be able to do it, but they're willing to do whatever it takes to get to that number in their own life, their own business, for whatever reasons that's motivating them, right? I think the second thing is they take massive amounts of action. When we set a goal, a lot of people, uh, they, they, it's, it's a wish for them, right? It's one of those things that they hope that ends up happening. They hope that one day this thing comes true. I hope I, I can make $50,000 in any month. I hope that I can make $100,000 a year. A lot of people, that's as far as their, their, their goals actually end up going. The, the successful people, top producing agents, they're going to take a massive amount of action. Most successful people will tell you, hey, if I want to get this goal, maybe it's $10,000 in revenue, well, I'm going to game plan, right, to do twice as much activity as it would take the normal person to do $10,000 in revenue because I want to I want to know for sure that this goal is something that I'm going to be going after, right? This is something that's going to be, it's, it's, it's not just a wish, it's something I'm getting ready to execute on. I think the, the other thing, and I think 90% of business, 90% of life is going to just do with showing up. The big time producers that I know, they, they're always going to show up. I mean, that's regardless of, of what they feel like today, right? It, it doesn't matter really if it's raining outside, if it's a storm. It doesn't matter if there's personal problems going on, if something bad is happening in their life. They're going to show up every single day. Actually, they're going to give themselves reasons, make it impossible for themselves not to be able to show up every single day. And I think that's, if we, if we get up every day and we've got this sense of urgency about just making sure I make it through the door. I've got a mentor of mine. He said, you know, part of his struggle with working out was just being able to, to get up and go to the gym. He said, I would make an excuse every day and have this going on or something would, would come up and it would prevent me from going to the gym. So he said, I told myself the, oh, the one thing that I'm going to do, there's this one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to commit to just walking in the door, through the door of the gym. From there, I'm not, I don't care what happens next. I'm just going to show up. Well, what started happening? He, well, he drove over there and he walked in the doors of the gym and he just showed up. And eventually, when he just showed up, he, he said, man, I'm already here. I drove 20 minutes to get to the gym. I'm going to go over here and just start warming up, right? And then he would, one thing would lead to another. And that's the exact same way that this business can be. I don't feel like doing it. I don't have a ton of appointments. Now, I've already got my first cancellation for the day. I'm going to just just show up anyway. Just show up and get back on the, on the phone and start dialing and just see what happens. Let's take it from there. Big time producers, they show up. The, the other, I guess, big piece of it is high-level producers, people that produce at the, the top levels uh, of the industry, they are unrealistically optimistic, however we spell it. They're optimistic. There, there's, there's nothing that you can tell a top-level producer that's going to detour them from the direction that they're going in. If it could look like all hell is breaking loose, it could look like everything's falling apart or, or, around them, and they're still going to figure out reasons why today is a great day. Why they're today is the day that they know that they're going to still be able to go out and change their lives and help people, right? The I, I can I can look back at two weeks ago in my own business. I was out in you know, six o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm sitting in my truck and I've got two more appointments left or three more appointments left. 
got porched all day. Uh, the, the day before was even worse. Did, didn't get get to sit down with anybody the day before. Got porched once or twice this day I'm talking about. Six o'clock in the afternoon, there's nothing happening. Got three appointments left, had five today. And for some reason, I'm, I'm sitting there and I throw on, you know, my favorite tunes and I change my attitude. So you know what? Today is is still not over yet. And it's from six o'clock to eight o'clock, it was a complete different story. Ended up with with something like six applications, nine thousand dollars in production. But that doesn't happen if you lose that sense of optimism. If you lose that sense of uh, that man, this thing can still happen. They are unrealistically optimistic. The I, I think the, the the biggest part of anybody's success is going to be in your routine. I get a lot of people that talk about having a morning routine. I myself have a, a morning routine, things that I go through every single morning before I get started. I think it's the same thing with my routine for life. It's my same thing for my routine for my business. And so I, I think a lot of times people ask me, what's it look like a week in the life of an insurance agent? Maybe that'd be a kind of cool topic uh, for, for us to kind of talk to later on, but I think the basics of it is what is the routine of a top level producer? You know, if you go back to um, ten thousand dollars in a week, there's a video. Uh, if you if you scroll back, about, I guess about uh, eh, I guess about five or six videos prior to this one, there's a video that talks about routine, um, and, and it's how I do ten thousand dollars in a week every single week, right? And I, I don't believe that it is. Uh, really going to be centered around the schedule or what days you do it on, but it's always going to be when am I doing certain things, right? So if it's morning times, I dial and I schedule appointments for the evening. Well, in the morning time, I better be dialing. In the evening time, I better be running appointments. It's what, when am I going to be doing those money-making activities, and they're always got to be in a routine fa fashion. For me, if I'm, if I'm out and I'm working face-to-face -face still with clients, when am I going to be knocking doors? Well, I know that's between 2 and 4 on any given day because I've booked every other slot except for those times. It's what's my routine like? They have a solid routine. They associate with top quality level producers. You will never see a, a top producer going in and associating with a uh, just, just any person, right? They're going to make sure that they're around the people that are getting what they want out of this business, out of their own lives. And it's not going to be the people that, uh, that, that's, that talk like they're getting what they want, but it's going to be the people that have those results that are out consistently doing it every day. And it's making sure that you've got somebody solid that whenever things do get a little bit tough, that you're able to call. And, and even if you started to complain, they're going to stop you in your tracks. And they're like, man, things are, ain't, they ain't that bad. It's just pick up the phone, make a few more phone calls, tweak this a little bit and get back out. Out there and you need people in your corner that's going to be that way the seventh quality is, is is they plan ahead you you won't catch them off guard right and they're going to plan for the contingencies they, they know that hey this is the perfect world kind of situation this is what i'm going to set up based on my own routine based on me being able to make these big goals right I'm going to plan ahead for those things that I know are going to come in the way, that I know are going to interfere with my week, with my given month, and I'm going to account for those things up front. And so a lot of times I did a video about holidays, a lot of times when holidays are coming up and there's things that we know, like we're going to want to go on vacation or we're going to want to go and see mom or dad or whoever that is in our lives. Top level producers never get detoured by that. They, that never catches them off guard. They're never caught kind of off balance by that. What ends up happening is they schedule around it. Uh, and now I, this is the only time I adjust my routine and this is, it's not necessarily adjusting the entire routine. It's adjusting what day that happens on, what, when that actually fits into my schedule now. And so it's saying, hey, if normally I would be working Monday through Friday and I'm going to be on vacation Wednesday through you know Sunday, well, the week, week before I'm going to work a Sunday, I'm going to work a Saturday, I'm going to account for that time that I would normally be bringing revenue into my home because I want to be able to make sure that that, that, that revenue is, uh, is, a, is accounted for. I think the, the last thing, and I, 
I don't, I don't know which is more important. I think all, all eight of these things are, are those, those things that everybody has in common, majority of top producers and agents have in common at least. But I, I believe this one here, if you don't have it, you're, you're probably not going to last as a top producer. You may have a few good months where you did some really, really good things, but it's probably not going to work very long. And this is just this one word, commitment. Because a lot of people confuse commitment with goals. A lot of people confuse. So goals is this is this is what I this is what I'm shooting for. This is what I'm going after. This is what I'm fighting for, and I'm chasing after, and I've got a strong why to back that up. But commitment is come hell or high water. Doesn't matter what I got to do to get it. I don't care how many hours it takes me. I don't care if I go to sleep or not. I don't care if I lose lose a few meals. It, it, it really doesn't matter what it takes. This is what I'm getting ready to make happen. So if that for you is, man, I, I've got to have $15,000 to pay all of my bills in any given month, and, and that is, that's, that's the least I can possibly make, well, that's a commitment saying, hey, I'm not going to stop until I do that every single month. If, if for you that's 5000 it's saying, hey, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to give up until that happens. Top-level producers, they set big goals. They take action, right? They show up. They show up every day. They're optimistic. They have a winning routine, not just a routine, but a winning routine. They associate with other top-level producers and people who have what they want and a whole lot more. They plan ahead, and they're committed. Listen. If you got some value out of the content, do me a favor, hit that like button, right? Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We love uh, to, the, the, and, and thank you, first off, to all of our brand new subscribers. We hit a thousand subscribers and uh, that is, that's huge. I appreciate everybody following us. Share it. Share the material. Get it around the people that you know that are in this business. We'd love to hear your feedback in the comments. Until next time, it's grind time, baby.